Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be demonstrating a method that I use to find candidates. Now this method is free of charge and it can work on the business development side as well. It's through LinkedIn finding the candidates with the necessary skills in the sort of area. The only downside of this, we can't exactly find out the salary of the candidate so you can potentially contact the wrong people um, for the role or something that's you know insulting sort of um, you know salary bracket that they're on much higher however that being said um, it's around sort of LinkedIn finding the candidates with the perfect job title now if you're doing something very specific if you're searching for let's say a mechanic chances are this probably would not work LinkedIn is great in the sort of London area and big cities it works very well nowadays everyone is starting to build a sort of LinkedIn profile the only danger is not everyone is active on it so I tend to use this method for um, business development rather than candidate search. However, if you don't want to purchase the LinkedIn recruiter, this is sort of a free method to do that. So it's called X-Ray Search. Don't know what it was named after, um, but I use this website. You can actually use the code into Google search and predominantly what it does, it searches Google and all the index page in LinkedIn for the necessary keywords and it finds the candidate um, that you're looking for. So that being said, you know, let's search United Kingdom and let's say job title will be accounts payable. And it obviously gives you, um, you know, search queries and a thing you want to include. So this could be a specific skill. I could go with, you know, someone that speaks French and keywords to exclude. So we don't want anyone, let's say that is ACCA qualified because that would potentially put them too overqualified and you can obviously search education so we can put degree and current employer we could obviously search that as well but this is main to, mainly used to find um, people that you know HR managers but I'll show you that afterwards and um, so find the right people on LinkedIn and what it does it as you can see on the screen it sort of puts the keyword search into here um, and it searches the site LinkedIn UK so these are the people that came up so in theory I could potentially show you some of these so if we pick two of these and bear in mind you've got a client with a specific need and um, you can obviously sort of find that so you know this person this person potentially does look good on the CV wise and they've got banking experience and also account payable experience and yeah so that's their sort of thing chances are this person isn't active um, but you can obviously search a job board for them as well um, John Pierre, obviously very French name, and he's had good experience as well in this. Um, definitely a suitable candidate, um, as it comes to that. And he speaks in multiple languages, so if potentially just give you an example, that could be um, what your client is looking for. On the sort of um, business development side, you could do a similar search. So chances are, if you want to find internal recruiter, and you could take the word French out. So you could put location. You could put Let's say Manchester, and it, we don't care if they've got a degree or not. Um, and you could put you could put out a keyword potentially, um, and this will work the same. So this person's an internal recruiter here. And I'll just give you two examples on that. So this is a powerful search for the business development side, um, and not many people tend to use it. So this person. Um, Claire, obviously the, the internal recruiter, may or may not be the person to contact there, but it gives you a sort of indication as to who is recruiting and what sort of companies work with them. So instead of searching up here, you know, internal recruiter and sifting through all of those, it kind of gives you a specific area. So if you wanted to target a specific area, um, potentially you could also type in in the include bar. So if you put a comma and you could put banking, for example, if you want to target a specific niche and find sort of, um, people that hire in that industry, um, you could potentially find, um, let's say for example, this person is obviously working for um, one of the banks and is a direct recruiter there. So yeah, they could obviously be contacted them from there. What I would do, obviously I would connect, but I'd also add a note. So you would say, hello, hello Alex, wanted to touch base. 
regarding you know etc so you put your message in there and the reason i do this a lot of people will just accept your sort of invite and they wouldn't necessarily you know reply to your messages this way you you would add quite a lot of people in a short amount of time and from there you would obviously um, build up a sort of not i wouldn't say candidate pool but you'd build up a sort of potential employees that you want to work with and the ones that read the message and accept are likely to um you know accept your sort of offer or at least hear what you've got to say chances are if you just send an invitation i wouldn't suggest that simply on the basis that people would just accept regardless so yeah that's um x-ray search it's very good to obviously when you're starting off as an agency but it's also good on the advanced level and um, and if you don't have linkedin recruiter sometimes it can work even better and um, if you get good with the search and if you're looking for something very very specific in terms of candidate or employers it helps you target a specific area and a niche as well in terms of geographic location so i would suggest definitely using this um as a method into your sort of recruitment or your search and thirdly you know as a sort of not secondary but thirdly um if you're searching for a job and you know you want to find someone that you know can potentially help you and if you say you want to get into seo and um, so seo manager or seo director you can obviously contact these people from there um, and yeah it works exactly the same way so potentially there's uh, three ways to use this sort of method i would definitely definitely suggest it um you know especially when you're starting off it's free to use and if you don't want to start posting ads and using job boards and you really want to be a headhunter this is the way to go about it